Hey friends, my name is Tara Furman and welcome to the One Woman Says Yes to God show. This is our inaugural um, show and I invited um, a good friend of mine, Melissa Bell, because she's got a really cool story. She was sensing God nudging her heart and this is just a beautiful example of when God begins those quiet little nudges in our heart to do something for someone else and it's so easy to maybe explain that that thought or that nudge away, but you didn't. And um, this is a perfect example of how one woman can really make a difference in her corner of the world when she just obeys those little nudges. And so it started out with a need for winter coats, right? Yes. Um, I was heading to the store to buy my son some snow pants, and I was reminded of a family I had met recently from Arizona. And I kept feeling like I had to call her and see if she had winter coats. Because if you know anything about warmer climates, they do not sell true winter coats. I'm from Florida, and I did not have real winter coats for my kids first winter. And you see, I did not know that. I thought that a winter coat was a winter coat, but I guess not. That if you're in Florida or in Arizona, these warm weather states, they need a we they need a jacket. Right. Okay. So we, I thought we're going to really see if they need a jacket, see if they have warm enough coat. Um, I felt a little weird calling her. Uh, because I, I thought that's kind of an inappropriate question. Are you a good enough mom to, you know, have the appropriate wear for your children? Um, and so it would have been. Well, you were afraid that that's what how she was going to perceive it, right? Exactly. And right. I brushed it off for a day. The nudge came again. And so finally I thought, well, I'm going to get uncomfortable and have this conversation. So what would you do? I called her. First I texted her um, and I said, hey. And guys, this was somebody you met at the park, right? Yes. So you didn't really know her very well at all. Right. Our kids had played three or four times at a park. We met up for, you know, a play date here and there, but I didn't know her that well. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So, so keep going. So I texted her and I said, do you have winter coats? And she responded, yeah, we do. And I thought this needs more of a phone call conversation. Yeah. And so I called her and um, I explained to her my experience coming from that Florida mm -hmm. and not having the appropriate winter uh, weather gear. And so she said, well, sure, if you're there, um, these are my kids' coat sizes. And so I picked them up. And so you were at the store, right? Or mm -hmm. you were at the, you were the, the, just the consignment shop, right? Yep, the consignment shop. Which, how easy is that? That was so thoughtful of you. So you start to look for winter coats for her, for your children and her children, and then what happened? So realizing that the winter weather was here tomorrow, I thought, let me just, you know, drop by her house. I'd never been to her home, but I just wanted to pop by and drop them off so they were prepared. Um, and I happened to be three minutes away and drove right over, and I said, hey, I'll leave these on your front porch. Because um, I also didn't want to feel um, intruding. Like, right. I just showed up at your house, and you had no warning, and here I come, and here's some jackets. Right. Um, and she said, no, no, um, I'm coming right out, so please come in. And so you walked into her house, and then what happened? Okay, so her kids are the cutest, and they came running downstairs. They said, Miss Melissa, our room is all set up. We're so excited. We want to share it with you. And I'm standing right in the doorway of her home. I don't want to, you know, force my way or anything. And I said, well, if your mom wants me to, I can. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, let's go up. And so um, I went upstairs to see their newly decorated room. They said they had just set it up last night. And what did you see when you saw that room? Um, when I walked in, it was just... Um, they have, she has four children, mm -hmm. um, and it was four cots, um, and they were, you know, preschool size cots. Cots and, for four kids. Mm -hmm, in and one they room. each had a blanket. And they were so excited, like, you know, showing me their particular blanket. Wow. Um, and I didn't, hadn't even dawned on me that that was a situation. I was not even aware when I was walking through the house that this was the situation. Um, so they had virtually nothing. Nothing. In that house. Yeah. And, the weird thing for me is I had met her so many times and yet never once did I feel like she had a need right. um, because she didn't appear. She appeared, everything was well put together. Not that she wasn't, but that there could have been a need at the house. So how did y'all transition that awkward kind of? Well, I turned around and the mom had tears in her eyes and she Aww. said, I am really embarrassed. And um, I just said, what are you embarrassed for? We have all been there. And um, she said, I, I just don't know how to say. And I said, God has me here for a reason. What can I do to help you? And you don't even know if this woman's a believer or not. or No. You have no, no idea. Okay, no so idea. go ahead. But I knew that God wanted me to say. I, yeah. You know, God has me for a reason. And so um, I said, you know, we're in a very um, affluent area. Let me see what I can reach out for for you. Um, and she said, no, the, the jackets are enough. And so we kind of left with the thought that the jackets are enough. But I would kind of see what I could um, help her out with. But the kids didn't even have pillows for they, their cots. They didn't have pillows. All of this came 
to my attention as I was texting her um, from the house. Because on the way home um, to my house, I'm driving, and I just felt God saying, Melissa, you need to, like, really pursue this. And I thought, God, I don't have a whole lot. You know, I'll go through and see what extras I have, but I don't have a lot. Um, but I'll give him everything I can. And God said, I just need you to be obedient. You know, I felt like. I just wanted you to say yes to Take him. the next step. One Melissa. step. One mm-hmm. step. So I reached out on Facebook. Um, Social media can be good. Uh, I reached out on Facebook. And as I'm messaging on Facebook, you know, people are asking me questions like, does she need pillows? And I thought, I don't I don't even know. So I say, do you need pillows? And she responds and she said, pillows would be great. And my heart was breaking because I'm thinking, how would it be if my kids didn't have pillows? Um, They had left and they only had two toys a piece, the kids. Mm -hmm. Um, But essentially they had nothing else in their house. They didn't have tables. They didn't have chairs. They didn't have dressers, um, pots, pans. And so, um, God was so good. All I did was hit send and things came pouring in. So a week later, 10 days later, what a haul had poured in. Okay. Um, we had just under a thousand dollars, um, to support her for groceries and things. Um, her, house was furnished. Um, I, I mean, people weren't just going into their pantry. They were going to the store and buying things and said, well, if, how about a crock pot? And I said, that's not a need. And they're like, oh, but here I like, I couldn't serve my family without a crock pot. Right. Um, people found out their shoe sizes and not only were they bringing shoes, but they were going to the store and buying brand new shoes. So these kids got brand new shoes. Wow. Um, and, and what I want us to get from all of this, what the cool thing is, is it started with one woman that just said yes to those little nudges. That's where it started. And then as a result, this woman that had moved from across the country, from Arizona into North Carolina, had nothing, virtually nothing. You begin to pour and minister into her life. And the difference that that made for her and her family. Yeah. The one thing that really got me is the text that she sent me. And she said, I want you to know that God is speaking to me through you because I just prayed to him today and said, why are you not answering my prayers? Why are you not showing me that you hear my prayers? And then the things that I was asking her for through other people, like, do you have pillows? She said, those are the things that only God knew about. Wow. And so, me chills. I know God is pretty amazing. That is so cool. And then this opened the door for you to really begin to talk to her about eternal things mm-hmm. like marriage, what the Bible says about marriage and just the things of God, right? Yes. And her kids have asked to go to church. And so she's going to go to Bible study for the first time. So that is so good stuff. So it all just started with see if she needs a jacket. You know (laughs) what? We just, um, it's important to, to heed and obey those little nudges. And I so easily swear them off or just not literally swear them off. You know what I mean? But I push them off because I'm like, I'm not going to do that. She's going to be so insulted that I'm asking. And, um, and then I've, somebody's missed a blessing because Mm -hmm. I was too busy or too distracted. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that that blesses you and encourages you to be the difference in your corner of the world. We be, we will be back in about two weeks with another great showcase of the difference that one woman can make in her corner of the world. See you next time.